How's it going, Facebook? Looks like we're gonna get a little more rain. Good. Okay, I wanna talk strictly about math, what's happening in recovery, and what started all this intercropping and everything around the math. You know, I get so mad about linear math. It's so kindergarten and dumb. So, <laughs> this is so cool. So this, uh, you know, the sheep are out here trampling down five foot tall sorghum sedan grass, munching it down, trampling it down, and then the, sh and then the chickens come and they trample it down and it just goes down to the ground. I'll show you right behind there. And then it comes back. And what's cool is it comes back in this fractal math. And if you follow me, in 2017, I was called a clown for seeding wheat behind a manure tank. This is what I was chasing right here. This was just a single plant, uh, you know, like two weeks ago, and it got ate and ate and peed on and pooped on, and it turned into this. And the same thing's happening as we've allowed this hemp to express. We've taken care of these little corridors with uh, grazing, and we give this all this light and all this space all the way around it. And that's fractal math. Look down here at the bottom. That's what we're creating when we do all these prune jobs and all this stuff. It splits in all these different directions. It's pretty cool, just like that sorghum sedan grass. And look at the different animals that have grazed and deposited the manure, how this is recovering, and back to canopy. So that's what's so cool. They can trample it down. They can eat it all the way down to the ground. And there's this inner circle, inner this inner spiral that all these plants have in common in corn it's pretty obvious this little inner swirl you can see it you can tell how old a tree is by its rings and that's the way we should think when we grow things is to think small and learn and things come back around i know i'm getting weird on you but it's pretty cool when you let all these things express themselves so this is right after uh, you know three days after and it's starting to recover and we're making all these little peed off little plants there Look at all those shoots coming out of that you, know, you got three roots and all these shoots so give that time give that like you know four days and we're back to there and I'm heading to the truck but you can see uh, you know we're following the chickens now following the sheep trample down now it's coming out of the squirrel they're working on it right now. Nice work, guys. See that swirl right there? That will express itself in a few days. You can see how the leaves open up. Here's the thing, I can't use herbicides, can't use residuals, can't use anything. But I can put plants out here and allow them to all grow well. And then that is how we get ahead of nature. It's not a battle against nature working with her okay I'm done I know I make a video out here every day but to me it's pretty cool we, we come two weeks after you move these guys to here and look what the combine is taking in right here look at that where's the weed gonna grow here we got rye mat right here few inches deep where's the weed gonna grow right here so we think in our cropping system bringing that back to relay if you put fertility underneath the wheat and it, it get that plant multiplication you can start managing different time and space and inches of the field think about the shape as it grows together and all that stuff all these plants were purposely put in this space right here so they can all express those were built specifically for this corridor, so they'd mow that down, leaving a prune job, plus that fertility in the soil. You know, all this microbiome going on, all that stuff. All right, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Please share. We got to move all this stuff at some point. <laughs> all right. Eat up.